I'm sure a lot of you are trying to level up your red border weapons right now, whether it be to extract the neutral element from this reeds or you got from trials, or you're trying to level up your red linears that you got from the raid, or a red fusion, red SMG, whatever, to craft them. Whatever it might be, you're leveling up red border weapons. Now, I'm sure you, like me, go to Shirochi to do this, but you might note that linears, in particular, don't exactly have a lot of ammo for uh, the amount of progress that you're going to get, right? You've only got so many shots, like 26 at the max. So what you can do is with a weapon in the same slot, like a heavy weapon, like a Palmyra, with Lasting Impression, what you can do is fire that Lasting Impression shot, and then switch to your Linear, and you will get all the progress from that Rocket Shot into your Linear. So I can actually do that again right here. Remember, I'm at 49%, I think it was. And I go up to 63. So I went up from 26 to 63, and granted I'm out of ammo, but that was pretty fast. And it means I don't actually have to shoot all those Thrall or all those enemies with the reeds. It's a very quick leveling up system. Now what I can also do is with Wither Horde and anything in this uh, this prime or this yeah kinetic slot. I'm sure you can imagine where I'm going with this. And shoot a Wither Horde in the air, and swap to this, and then stand in the Wither Horde. And all these Thrall that die to the Wither Horde are going to count for my uh, my fusion. And the ammo economy is actually pretty good. Uh, if you're switching from a, a green weapon to a green weapon, it's not bad at all. I think those will actually still count. Yeah. It's definitely not as useful for fusions as it is for linears, but you can do this. I'm definitely going to be doing it as I level up my... Uh, my linear fusions, I'll just go into this first part of Shura with my rocket, fire it, and then switch to a reeds.